I appreciate that, man, but unfortunately, Steam and Red Dead still need to actually start, so in the meantime, let's kick back and enjoy the music. I'm glad someone likes to hear my voice. <laughs> Damn, would you believe it's completely royalty-free? Pretty much all you gotta do is attribute Kevin McLeod of Incompetech with the music. Other than that, it's free to use. You can even use it for commercial products if you want. I think it's pretty understandable that the guy just wants to get credit for it. Well, I sure love your enthusiasm. Yeah, for real. More like the fuse tripped. Because uh, apparently someone didn't realize just how much of the house is on one fuse. Decided to add equipment that sucks up a ton of power. So it tripped the fuse. Really sucks, but what can you do? That's one way of putting it. Anyway, the game's almost loaded now, thankfully. Right now, I'm just looking at sepia-toned loading images. In fact, I think I'll switch to it now. Now you get to see what I'm seeing. And there we go. Hey, who's that? For real, you don't know who this is? God help anyone who tries to get past you. Morning, Arthur. Isn't that just pretty? Hey Gary, how's it going? Good to see you. I'm glad you like it. 
I guess it's because you haven't been here for a while, so you didn't know. I actually decided to get myself a cowboy duster version of the VTuber model. Just so it would fit better with Red Dead Redemption. And of course, I have at least a t-shirt casual form for Legend of Zelda. I figure since you have so many clothing options in Zelda, it wouldn't make sense to try to conform it to one. Also, I couldn't really find anything to replace a tunic. But it's all good. At least it's unique. Even while I'm talking. Hmm. Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. Uh, sure thing. Don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. Thank you. I think. Well, that was lovely. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Grimshaw, and you can be real friendly. Sometimes, at least. But look, is that a horse stable? I wonder why we don't put the horses in there. Also, there's a side house, interestingly enough. I guess nobody wants to go in there. Looks like a barn, actually. You know, the funny thing... Hold on, let me just switch out. I can't do it with keyboard for some reason, because it won't... For some reason, it just randomly stops working with the hotkeys. This is what it looks like when I'm angry. I thought about having him hold a gun, but I figured that would be too threatening. And YouTube and Twitch probably wouldn't like that very much, so... Finger pointing it is. We're Yu-Gi-Oh gun pointing. But I have no reason to get pissed right now. Well, other than the fuse situation. Could use a slug just... of whiskey in this. <laughs> Maybe after lunch, hey? What, you want to Irish up your coffee? Man, I just reminded myself of Sean, and now I'm kind of sad. Morning, Arthur. Hey there. Hey, y'all. Hi there. It was good seeing you in action with those foreman boys, like the old days. Oh, I'm just glad we got Tilly back. Yep, just in time. And we got Jack back, too. Well, I suppose I should move a bit. That grave mission was kind of fun. Didn't expect it to have creepy organ music. You all right, girl? It's not something you expect to hear in a wild western. <laughs> Just spooky organ music, but it fits well with the tone. Super foggy, graveyard at night. It just demands organ music. It's just classic. Also, what's this? Okay, that's Hosea. Wait, is that the mandatory mission? I think the I think yellow means um, optional, doesn't it? Because I kind of want to see what that's all about. Hey, pal. Jose? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're okay, I think I had that on long party, enough. We yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Oh, my Old bad. friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion oh, well. is we go I'll do it next time. <laughs> you son of a I already have the San Denis look. Don't you think that's enough? Evidently not. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. 
There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. You know, it'd be Follow funny me, gentlemen. if I equipped everything that I could and then Arthur spent a good five minutes just taking all of his guns out. Will be so Let's see, I got this. I got this. To be. <laughs> this. Wonderful, wonderful. Come down this way. Oh yeah, I also got that one. Oh, can't forget that one. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. Ooh, yeah, this is fancy. Himself, you know, uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, the thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, this is nice. You join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Right, okay. <laughs> All right, I guess I gotta follow them. Yeah. Like that, um... Like that, uh, tiny robber who disguised himself as a baby. And Bug saw right through him. So we just start spanking him and then guns start pouring out of him. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboys, you've arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte? <laughs> no, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he... Comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley. <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. <laughs> I mean, hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But that guy's a real go, peach, what, isn't he? Uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we Survive and thrive? We are need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, 
As a guest? Yes. As my guest? Bah! Do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> He's flat out telling me to rob blind. Okay, ragazzi. Adesso il vino buono. See? <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll show you to the party, gentlemen. If you'll kindly follow me. What if I take the time to just look around a bit? You don't get inside places this fancy every day. I'm gonna scope the place out. Definitely not because I'm looking for something to steal. And welcome once again to Santa Nina. Ciao, ciao. Darn. <laughs> it's so scripted. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. To quote him, I'm going to pretend to know what that means. I guess we better mingle, huh? What the? I guess some of the doors don't want to open for some reason. That is weird. Hey there. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us someplace to rob. Bill? Go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out. Evidently Dutch doesn't want me to take any souvenirs. Knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. Right, okay. Hello. Hey there. Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. You are quite the gentleman. <laughs> Clearly not from this swampy hill. Thank home. you. Ooh, Thank even you. they're trashing on it. Ladies, I'll see you next week. <laughs> Evidently, they don't have a high opinion of this place either, do they? Hello, mister. Gentlemen. How's it going? The real one. Just fine. Thank you. That's my weakness, my worst vice. Perhaps you should have a hey there. good evening, down you ladies. Monsieur? Always <laughs> nice to see you smile. The truth mm -hmm. is, since the well, war, take care the country's doomed itself. Right. How are you all doing? I disagree. The How do you do? How's the things? Was 30 years I can't ago. lie. May as well enjoy the party, me. right? And since Glad then, to we hear. Take care. And we Goodbye. Will find more again. Even in all country toys. Hello, sir. You don't mind me the saying, country. um... Don't even exist. You look lovely. We today. exist. And my family? Well, they well. did well out of the war. Then may no intrude. My family lost a generation of men. And what do you think, sir? I think war is a fine way of thinning the herd. <laughs> exactly. Well, this man is a realist. I cannot believe I am hearing this. Excuse me. The fact is, since the war, the sometimes, sir, the innocent on the damned. Interesting conversation, isn't it? Monsieur. Good evening. Oh, women and men. <laughs> Camilla McClare, wherever did you get that? Why, that you tell me. Oh, you. Where you are with food. I guess I can't get through here. Or, nope, I can. Evening, folks. Can I help you, How do you do? How you doing? Just swell. That's the spirit. All the best. Take care. How are you, lady? Now, she looks familiar. Bonjour, monsieur. You know, Greece. You look just like a lady I want to. You know, I was thinking the same thing. Anyway, please, don't mind me. Uh, what? Evening all. How's it going? I'm well, thank you. Good. All the best now. Hello, ma'am. Hello there. May I say you're looking lovely today? Merci beaucoup. Be well now. A bientôt. How are you all doing? May as well talk to people. That's apparently what I'm supposed to be doing here. How's it going with you? Doing well as can be. Good for you. I'll see you later. Evening all. Hello there. You sure brighten up the place. Thanks. Take care now, you. <laughs> Bye. Now where is this mayor? Uh, probably should check on the mini map, huh? Apparently someone's puking over there. Oh well, none of my business. Evening, ladies. Oh, how do 
you do? How's it going? Oh, not too bad. That's good. All the best, then. À la prochaine. Good evening, ladies. Bonjour. You seem full of joy. Go help him, LOL. Oh, merci. You'll be well now. Adieu. How are you all doing? Mister? Where's that mayor? Apparently I got a... Yeah, speaking of thinning out the herd, I'm gonna need a cow catcher to get to the mayor. There he is. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny your idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. Okay, then. I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? Oh, here we go. What kind of cool off does he mean? Come on, sleep it off. What kind of cool off are we talking about? Are we talking about taking a swim here? Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. I was kind of expecting him to throw him into the into the fountain or something. Thank but you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh. 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 My lord, that fantastic. I can appreciate some fireworks. Excuse me, father. Excuse me, father. Uh, monsieur, please. please, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. You got it, buddy. Let's squeeze him for info. Hello. Evening, sir. Oh, sir. Hello. What? I am. Hello there. Sherry. How do you do? You know, talking to people is certainly how. Actually, you can get reputation a lot faster if you just sort of run Even past them after talking to them. Why, hello. Right, I keep forgetting what buttons do what. You might turn around. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Right. I'm behind a wall. How is that even possible? Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Kinda hard to get detected behind a wall, don't you think? <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him! I will not have standards! I'm sorry, sir, but the party is in the garden. The residence is purely for family. I do hope you're on the floor. <sighs> Forgive me. I was unaware. Well, crap. Sleep in this house. Have you lost your mind? Fine. I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me.
Hmm. Who was he talking to? I hope he. Okay. I, I thought he was talking to me. Look at me. I was about to say. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. Yeah, that was my bad. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, okay, I guess I gotta leave. Now get out of my sight. That had to have been on purpose. They did that intentionally to think, make you think, oh crap, I got too close, you know? I hear him fiddling with something. What's he doing? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Maybe I should have gone third person for this. Oh well. I got past it anyway. I know. That's why I did. Well, ledger, technically. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Yes, yeah, very interesting indeed. We better show this to Dutch. Ah. Okay, then. <laughs> you enjoy your popcorn. How do you do, sir? Good evening. How are you? How do you sir? do? <laughs> you can actually get your reputation up pretty fast out here. Hello there. Why, hello. How's it going? I can't lie. The Lord's blessed me. All the best to you. How Goodbye. are you? Hello, sir. I like you, mister. You have a kind face. Hmm. Well. Look at you. Find anything? Yep. I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money, Moose, here, of course, and I think I found out how we can grab some of it. The big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. We're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. High stakes poker game. Here comes Lenny. All right, let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Oh. Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Why do I get the feeling it's going to go horribly wrong? No offense to Dutch, but his plans haven't exactly been working out well so far. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. 
and Trelawney. Didn't you say that back in Blackwater? To meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know exactly, but I can smell it. I'm going to go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> Wait, what the? That's weird. Oh, it's because of the power thing. Oh, I can't even manually save. That's weird. Funny thing is, I found a much faster way to get down. You just do this. Okay, not the best way, but it works. Hey there, Morning, Tilly. Morning, Arthur. Hey there, Tilly. You seem a bit happier. Yes, I'm feeling good. I'm glad. Yes, see you later. Oh, look, it's a doggo. Hello, boy. Hey, buddy. Come on, let me pet him. There we go. Good boy. That's so sweet. Every game of the dog should let you pet them. That should be a rule. Hey, boy. That's my opinion, though. Such good boys. You should be able to pet them. If Arthur can pet a dog, I think any protagonist can. Oh no. We don't need you getting in no more Ooh. trouble. Stew. Give me some of that. Mmm, I want some wow. stew. No reason. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Arthur. A lot of people think the same way. There's a reason why the old saying is that dogs are man's best friend. Good morning, Arthur. <laughs> Sadie. Arthur. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Fine. No reason. Just making sure. Sure. All right, now I'm gonna go do that optional mission just because. Can't wait to see what that's about. That was fun though. <laughs> Just mingling out there. Actually seeing a new environment for once. I swear Rockstar put an astronomic amount of detail and attention in this game. You don't even see the inside of a manor all that often, but it's still impressively detailed. Granted, there are a few times you go inside a mansion, like that... One of those family mansions in that last area. But even so, it looks nice. Yep. Alright, let's go head to San Denis and find out... What Mary Linton wants. Mary needs... To, oh, yeah. I forgot. That was, um... Arthur's old fling. And now I remember. She did send him a letter saying that she needed him for something. It's coming back to me now. I think I mentioned that, too. That I don't... I'm not really a fan of her because... She won't take Arthur back because he's so different. Oh, I agree, Gary. It was really good. Really gave you the impression of a nighttime party. What do you need? What you need help with, sir? I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. They gotta do something. Alright, I'll take care of it. Alright, where is she? It's a sacked out in the swamp by the water. Alright, buddy, I'll get you. I'll help you, man. I'll get your wife. I'll take your wife back to you safe and sound. I kind of like shooting up assholes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is fun for me. <laughs> Say no more, friend. I'm, I am helping him. What are, you, what are you talking about? 
Oh, you damn right. I'm not going to show them any mercy. It's going to be savage. Why do you think I brought out the Lancaster repeater? I'm going for kills. Ah, shit. Oh, my God. I fucked it up. That was on me. I didn't... I didn't react in time. Sorry about that. Jesus Christ. Don't tell me I failed the mission. Fuck, I failed it, didn't I? God damn it. All because I, f I forgot what buttons do. Shit. So much for that. Okay, in my defense, I forgot how to do Deadeye, and I forgot it was V. I, I thought it was V, and then it turned out it wasn't V, and I fucked up. So that's my explanation there. Oh boy. I completely forgot that Deadeye was on T. That was my bad. I wasn't aware of that. Well, I fucked up anyway. Even if I even if I had known that, I would have fucked up anyway because I pressed V for some reason I thought that was Deadeye and it was the camera changer. That was a complete misstep on my part. I could not have screwed that up any more thoroughly if I tried. Come on, girl. Yeah, I did. And for some reason I mistook it for the camera angle changer. Like I swear, I pressed V. That's what I did. Did not realize. Yeah. I should have pressed T. But I didn't. Ah, for freak's sake. And because you don't have first person on a horse, me demonstrating it completely broke my view. Well... So if I ever get a next time, I'll be able to do it that time. Gotta take the L. Move on. Wait, what the? Wait, I get another chance? Hey, you! See? Gotta help me! Is this scripted? I got away, but... They got my wife, please, mister. Is this scripted? All right, where is she? It's a sack out in the swamp, bottle. At least now oh. I get another chance at this. Okay. I can redeem Go on. myself. See if you can find the law, I'll do what I can. Uh, yeah. Got it. All right, fair enough. <laughs> I'm glad. I, I was actually kind of bummed out because I was thinking, oh crap, I'm never going to get another chance, am I? Good. Good. Time to redeem myself. It's, in fact, T. I'll prove it right now. Maybe I should just fire through the window. Screw this, I'm not going through the door. I can just kill him right now. Man, that's so much easier, isn't it? Oh, please, 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 let's hide me now. Wait a minute. I'll get you in a second. Just let me steal these guys' stuff, okay? Okay. Sorry I Would weren't here please? sooner. Relax. Oh, 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 They're dead. Oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. <sighs> Don't mention it. Everything's all right. Christ, what a mess. Yeah, I'm gonna take care of these guys. Don't worry about it. Get them out of here. I can't stand to touch them. 
and I don't want to ride indoors. Okay. You know, I would have done it just out of the kindness of my heart, but you're kind of taking this... You kind of ruined this for me, lady. No offense. Well, now there'll be gator chow. Just one more. Right. You can go ahead and keep their guns if you want. You'll have to clean up the blood yourself. Arthur Morgan's a killer. Not a cleanup service. <laughs> You're welcome. There's some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. All right, fair enough. Ah, there's the sack. Must be inside the feed or something. Yep. You my garden angel. Ooh, 50 bucks, Appreciate not bad. You. Good luck to you. I seriously have too much money. Ah, that's their horse. Fair enough. I think I'll find the guy again if I that's go on down on the road. Yeah. I kind of want to confirm to him that his wife's on the up and up. Yeah, maybe. I don't even know where I found him, though. And the mist is getting all crazy. Yeah, I think I went this way. Oh, now I remember. It was on this road up ahead. I think. I think it was this. No, wait. Yeah. Oh, now I think I remember. I think I saw him over here. Yeah, he was definitely over here. He must have disappeared. Oh, well. Maybe on the way to Saint Denis, I'll run into him again. Yeah. I mean, his wife already gave me 50 bucks, not to mention what I got off those two guys' bodies, but... Yeah, it's fine. I'm sure... He'll find out the hard way that his wife's all right. I still find it funny that the, the, the Blackwater bounty on Arthur Morgan is a grand. I've got over four grand. Listen, pal, if I give you a grand white now, you piss off. That's what I'd say if I was Morgan. Waiting for that wagon, you asshole. And some people are blind. Hey, mister. What's your problem? Hey there, mister. Oh, sorry about that, pal. I'm sorry about that. You all right? Thank you. Easy, I ain't serious. If you say so. Idiota. Okay, now you are really starting to annoy me. Some people have no patience. Hi there. Bonjour. Always nice to see a smile. Ah. Well, take care now. Can't wait to see what Mary Arthur. needs my help with this time. Arthur! Up here! You came! Yeah. I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Love how those two guys are just gawking. <laughs> I guess it was part of the script, though. Okay, I think the death counter's been up long enough. Arthur. 
Hello, Mary. You came. I know. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. It's like I said. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter. She doesn't want him. Wanting better for her than than. But when she needs help, then the she'll come calling. What make. choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Yeah, I don't want to get into that. Be kind to me. That's Please. way too heavy a subject. Sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else. Yes. But... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. You need me it as your errand boy. I didn't love you, Arthur. Sure. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. You love having them do stuff for you. We were so very young. That's what you love. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? There a reward in this for me? Come along, Dan. You better have a reward Where at the end of this. What's I'm taking that out of you. Patriarch been up to now. Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Oh, his values are Where so much better than Arthur's. He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. Yeah, that's down fair. down by the water in the warehouse district. I just want train yard. her to owe me one, you Come know? On, Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. <laughs> he suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, we Arthur, all suffer enough, Mary. I should have ran away with you years ago. Some more than others. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But, well, I think I she's know. just saying that. I don't buy it for a minute. She's just saying that to get him so to help her. What do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. Keep saying it's a disgrace. A she man thinks she has him wrapped around her finger. Right around on some old nag. When he's standing, he's usually falling down. Arthur, he wasn't always this way, but but has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. Oh, but Arthur's the bad the guy. Place. Arthur's the one who has bad morals that you can't stand being around. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Oh. Sure. Wouldn't want Arthur to oh, have to here. see that, huh? Look. Scream if you need any yeah, help. Yeah, that's fair. Very funny. I just want to know where this is gonna where this is going, because I don't buy it. I think she's full of can't it. Stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. You gonna screw with Arthur, boy? Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. Why don't you piss Finally. off, pal? Just go on inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. 
Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. Yep. You better follow him. Okay. Ah, crap. I can't even use my horse. That sucks. This way. I, okay, I guess that makes sense. It's a stealth mission. Uh, Mary? Are you gonna go? Down here. I'm right behind you. I'm literally about to touch you. Okay, fine. I'll touch you. went around the corner. Okay. Ah, shit. There he is. Yeah, he is a real mess. At least we'll get to see how much of a mess. Oh. Hold on. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just fall on the smell. <laughs> Come on. He just went between those crates. Yeah, I think I have the right to talk about him. Come here, quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say it, being insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Man, this guy's Eat a real catch, isn't he? For brawling, mister. Damn you! Oh, I can see why she picked him over Arthur. He's heading across the road. I don't care if no, she is his dad. This is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. What are you talking I about? Didn't realize I was here to this is this isn't cleaning myself up a bit. Man, she's not happy, is she? I'm in the Saint Denis outfit. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he Saint Denis doing? outfit not good Let's enough? Go find out. Hey, it's supposed to be. A second. You're too close. I kind of figured the Saint Denis outfit would be right at home in this area. You know, it's even named after the damned city. But I guess it's not good enough for her, is it? You want me to go around town in a damned tux or something? She's just not happy, is she? She's just like him. They're never happy. Both a couple of sad sacks. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Yeah. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. Yep, looks like Family it. Heirloom. That was Family mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. You think he gives a shit? Enjoy He'll the gamble money. it all away. And should you need any more, we'll sell you with it. Gamble if he wants to. Very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. Oh, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Nice mother enough. left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Well, I mean, I got over four grand, but do I really want to have to buy it from him? I mean, if it's going to cost me, I don't know if I want hey, to. You, Ashton, hold it right there. God damn it. Well, I guess it's a chase sequence, and I can't get my horse either. Hey, stop that coach. Yeah, I got you. My horse seems to have heard my call, but I don't think I can mount her. She's not moving. I'm guessing that means I have to chase them on foot. It's one of those, it's scripted that you have to do it. It kind of sucks. My horse was right there. The icon blinked to let, to let you know. To let you know that it heard it. Yeah, I got it. You were, I, I know. I know I was, but... 
The fact that she didn't move when I called for her, I'm guessing that means you're not allowed to ride her. Damn it. I'm just, I'm just making a guess here. If I had gone for her, it probably would have wasted more time. I'm just saying. Obviously, they disabled your horse. Because I called for her, she blinked on the map, that's how you know that she can hear you, she didn't move. So I'm going to assume that you can't ride her. Probably scripted. You got you have to chase on foot. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, like I said. I don't know for sure. Like I said, I'm just making a guess. Because I did this. Like I said, blinked on the map. That's how you know she's close enough to hear it. Didn't move. So, I don't know what to tell you. Because remember when uh, we were supposed to follow him, I tried to get on her and it wouldn't let me do that then either. If I'm wrong on this, I'm going to be so pissed off. But I don't think you're supposed to. The wagon didn't get away from me yet. It's still out in the distance. Gotta be a way to cut it off. If I knew where it was heading, I could try to cut it off. Like right here. What do you think I'm trying to do, mission? Either that or it's just scripted. Which would not surprise me at this point. Ooh, there's the there's the stage. There's the wagon. I'm getting closer now. If I can take advantage of shortcuts, I might just be able to pull this off. I think that's what you were supposed to do. Because it doesn't seem like it's possible to lose as long as you're actively chasing. You know? Oh, my stamina lasts out, though. I suppose I can always eat something. I've got a surplus of supplies that I never even use. Bound to be turning off eventually, or maybe not. Jeez. Yeah, for real. Ah, crap, it is turning left. My stamina is gonna run out. Was I able to use my horse? Because I swear I tried to call for her and I just assumed. Fuck. The buyer was abandoned? Ah, eh, shit. I'll try going for the horse this time. I swear to God, if you could do it, I'm going to get so pissed off because I called for her to save time and God damn it. the game basically said, fuck you. That's always a possibility. Hey, stop that coach. Wait a minute. You're right. She was bugged. Okay, then, girl. She she went for me. Well, shit. 
This just proves it. Get back here! You hear me? Stop the damn coach! Don't you just love bugs, huh? God damn it! At least now I know. You stop right now! Apparently, if you praise your horse, it gets a regen buff. Uh, you good, girl? Man, that's one fast wagon. Exciting, wasn't it? It's fog, I can't see anything. Let's make Silent Hill look subtle. <laughs> Up on that roach barren square. I know. Oh. Although apparently you ain't exactly innocent You're either. A big mistake. Sure about that? I can leave you dead in the middle of this swamp if you want. Oh, uh, he wants to be dead, doesn't he? Get out of there! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! It's just a brooch! I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. All right, fine. I'll be nice. Here. Here, take the damn thing. It wasn't technically Crazy his fault, miss. I don't think that. Who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. If you're threatening me, I could just kill you right now and take my money back. Your call, friend. He's just pressing his luck, isn't he? I, I actually felt bad for him. I was like, you know what? I'll just give you the hundred bucks. It's, it's not technically his fault. It's her asshole dad's fault. I'll give you the money. And then he immediately starts threatening me. I'm like, what the fuck? He just wants to die. Oh, doesn't he? Girl. Yeah. Because eventually I'm going to run out of F's to give. <laughs> you don't want that. No, sir. You don't want that. When I run out of F's to give... <laughs> You're gonna run out of lifelines. Huh, a Q-bone appeared in the Twitch chat. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Got you your brooch back. I won't ask. He cares more about her Probably than her own dad not. does. How messed up is that, huh? Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. That's a good point. And sure, I'll accept. I mean, she can she can pay me back. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun. May as well get something out of this, Let's right? Let's go to the Relour. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. Wow. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You know what this feels like? 
You're not it feels a very like nice woman, Mrs. Lamb. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I Doki know, Doki Literature Club. <laughs> You'll always be my dearest friend. <laughs> sort of beautiful in a gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. <laughs> All right, let's go see this theater, huh? This will be the reward. <laughs> we get to see two stage. We get to see two shows tonight. I'm Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not <laughs> doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a or not. Are you of in the a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire. Snakes and magic. This better be good. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Yeah, maybe a little bit. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called San Denis. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, oh, flawless. Perfect. Oh, 
I see you, you, you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sansovino. Yeah! Ooh. Stop it. Yeah, worth every bit of Mary's pennies, you mean. You can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. That answer your question? Enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris. Is it going to be that kind of show? Even Arthur can't resist. <laughs> No 
one can resist, not even Arthur Morgan. Just look at the subtitles. is in an actual game, so it's probably not owned by a record label. I'm guessing Rockstar made their own recording, so it should be fine. worth it, don't you think? <laughs> Bet you wish you helped Mary now, huh? Whoa, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent! <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous, awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> Shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon I'll have some. I know you won't. I can't away. believe she actually wants him now. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, I had some. 
but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. It's another story. I'll write you. Maybe he isn't being hopeless. Maybe there is a chance between them. I mean, let's re be real. If that's how her dad is, then Arthur's pretty much the best thing in her life right now. And that's kind of sad. So-called wicked outlaw is the only one that actually gives a crap about her. Think about that. Oh, I gotcha. Well, we'll just see what happens, won't we? Pardon me. Where's my horse at? Is something wrong with you? Go on, kid. Can I eat your wine? I know you can hear me. Your icon is blinking. we go. I guess she ran into heavy traffic, huh? That horse show ain't no humble. Anyway, who's the question mark over here? If it's yellow, that makes it a story mission, so... fun though, don't you think? Ah, ah crap. I mean, you can say the same thing about in real life. You got a lot of people who like to talk big, and then once the chips are down, they fold like a deck of cards. Excuse me. Hey, who are you? Oh yeah, those guys. Hey. Do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. Well, you have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far it's complicated. weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, no. but we're very desperate. No, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. 
Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting, I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. All right, let's uh, take care of that. Hey there. Actually, let's see what... Uh, Trelawney wants. Actually sounds similar to a Wild Western themed character from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, funny enough. I think his name is Trigani Law or something. Or, I, actually, I might be thinking of One Piece. Never mind. Hey, move it. Everything okay? All right. Well, good luck to you. I think people. I see the people in Saint Denis like to speak French. Oh, this is gonna be a good mission just from the name. My dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi River boat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Hey, this of is the Sand Denis outfit. It fits right in so with the far, town. No one will notice a thing. I guess this is just for the commoners, huh? Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory oh, nice. in the catalog here. Make this Did not watch fives, uh, you like Fair enough. He really oh, I agree. Is. It was the English's fault. I didn't Grandfather watch all of it, but I do know that guy had Gatlin Ogre, it's which was really cool. People. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. Ah, free. Nice. Wow. From all these a very good choice, sir. Hey, that's very fancy for free. <laughs> nice. The fanciest Arthur's ever getting. All right. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. He almost looks Indeed, high society. Much of an action at all. You play Every cards good. and win, and you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. Yeah. When you bust the place, they'll take you I don't you even want to lose the beard, to be off. honest. And that is when Javier comes in. I like that thick, rusky want. beard. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with Arthur me? Arthur looks weird without might, facial hair. But perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we... You, all of us, will be done here. You know, soon. trying to rob a boat oh, didn't work out so well in Blackwater. Come on. Now, as I was gonna say, cause every girl crazy about a shop dressed man. What really? 
My good yeah. Friend, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Maybe I'll get the hair this touched up a bit. Fellow has made like style a it up. In the oil fields and Middle part of it. Yeah, it looks good, I think. Or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. Actually, that looks even better. Middle parted. Let's go for that. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Hmm. Ooh, full styles. Let me go for that. No, not clean shaven. Definitely not that. Soup savior. It looks like Make Abraham Lincoln. Look like Ooh, goatee looks sir. good. In it, the apron. The forked Spartan. <laughs> Spartan. Brigadier. I guess these are my options. Well, if I'm going to get these options, I'd rather go for the goatee, you know? I don't care about the sideburns. Let's just give me this. That looks good, right? Ah, yes. It's all coming together, I think. There. Very smart. Not bad, huh? Come on. Let's get to the box. I've arranged some. It looks smooth. If we tell you, tell others. If we don't, tell us. Oh, if we please you, tell others. George, to the Not bad. Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad, the Prince. This is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't winnie up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? Is he all right by the way, the driver? Oh, yes, don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keeps some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. I know, Peter Don't forbid, worry, huh? Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. You'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> yeah, Blackwater could happen again. They're wanted in Blackwater because of a boat robbery gone wrong. Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss. Listen to the dealer. These are definitely the fancy part. I, I got gotcha. you. I guess that means I'm going to be using my gun. Gentlemen, Even though we just disarmed. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. <laughs> gotcha. Champagne all around. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good Don't time. worry. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun. 
tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. They just keep underestimating don't people, don't they? Too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Right, okay. Can't manually save, unfortunately. All right, Are let's do this. Us? Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! All right. It's already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. All right, let me see. So, I got 30. How are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. What's this auto bet? Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but... Yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see. Sure about, about that? that? To hell with it. Hmm. You know what? Call. Here we go, then. Hello, ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Sure. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but... I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. <laughs> all right, all, all in. in. Interesting. A pair of cowgirls. And you got? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. That Better luck next time, Don't pal. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning, well, I heard, well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why, I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Really? Okay, I trust you. Now play as you wish. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. Yeah, technically. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. That does sound familiar. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't Whatever worry, you say, sir. pal. Everyone well, the author of his own nothing business. ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. I'm pretty sure that's what the uh -oh. game wanted me to do. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. Nice. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? 
Gentlemen, hmm. please cash these out for me. I had the feeling I that this, this would be scripted. All you had to do was just keep uh, sure. calling, you know? Just us up to the office. Don't get yes, cold course, feet. Sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. I had faith in the You're game, and the game had that. delivered. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. So Very much for good. checking guns, huh? Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Better be. Foreign made, but well, you can't have everything. For comments yeah, like that, I mean. I'm taking you for everything you've got. I'll take the clothes off your back. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Nice. Oh, it's gonna be sweet. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he had another one, huh? Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Damn, I can't get the other one. I was hoping to dual wield, you know? The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Give me the gun. The I want the gun. Sure. Man, I can't even get the gun. You don't currently have your gun belt or satchel. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Gunshot. It sounded like one. Come on. Well, this can't be good. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oof. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. <laughs> nice uniform, by the way. Thanks give anyone a job these days anyway we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy which it surely will to the bar senor well, I mean that, that crazy bastard brought a gun on board I hope you had fun sir <laughs> at the time of my life you boys sure know how to put on a show <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. He's not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> well, so much for this, huh? <laughs> It's the time of Okay. Got it. I got it. I'm without the gun, I'm afraid. I got you covered, man. Bastards at. It's just a minor setback. I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly me, I clean. Bring my gun to ah! ah shit. I don't have any tobacco. This is bad. Oh, this is bad. I don't have any tobacco either. What are you doing? I 
need to preserve my dead eye as much as I can. I'm going to the Oh shit. I need to follow them. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm not built for this. Well, too bad, you're gonna have to. Well, that was nuts, wasn't it? Well, never a dull moment. Hope you kept the money dry. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Yeah. Just hope that mob boss who's really in charge of San Denis doesn't hear about this and know that it was Dutch's crew behind it. He probably wouldn't be too happy. Nice. That's a lot of money. We got lots of money. You got lots of money, honey. We got your disease. Jungle. Over five grand, baby. Not bad, not bad. Not too shabby. Nope, I'm not getting involved in that. I got better things to do anyway. Let's see where. Ooh, all right. Nope, no thanks. Wait, where are those other areas? Oh, all the way out of San Denis, apparently. Damn. Pretty far away, aren't they? Might as well go for the one near camp first. I could probably use some restocking on stats or something. First, I need to get out of San Denis. That way I can put up camp and fast travel. Yep. Well, they did say these trains had a lot of horsepower. <laughs> Let's get back to camp. By the way, I've got one piece of the Fierce Deity outfit to two stars, and the other two up to three stars. So not too bad. Alright, that's fair enough. Yeah. Unfortunately, it seems as though Henix, things like Henix guts aren't a given. Like, I could kill several of them and then not a single gut. You gotta love when that happens. So sometimes it's just out of my hands, you know? 
Okay. At least I got that much. Long time ago. Yeah, unfortunately. Bad business. Think a sharp. But at least I got it that far. I think it's uh, 12, 12, 8, which isn't bad. It's actually a pretty good amount of armor. Directly relevant. Especially just making conversation. Since it also gets you an attack boost. And it has the set bonus. Thank you. Where it also reduces the stamina usage of your charge attacks. Which means I could you spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record baby, right spun round round. So basically I can do a lot of damage probably, especially if I get my more powerful weapons out. And that is A-OK -okay with me. Yeah, for real. Alright, Arthur's place is over here. I get the feeling that after all the crap that Arthur just went through, he could really use some sleep. You know, call it a hunch. Actually. Oh wait, I was gonna look at something. Eh, I don't remember. Let's just go ahead and sleep. No, I wanna, wanna sleep in the bed, bro. Oh, 18 hours. <laughs> sure. Let's just say after all that, Arthur got really sleepy. At least he didn't have to worry about Sand and Knee. Not yet. Last time they tried to rob a boat, they ended up getting barred from Blackwater. So, all things considered, this one turned out slightly better. Let's talk to Sadie. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> If he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with you me. You know, it'd be funny. Always. If he Is said that and I me? already robbed no, someone in the we'll city. Need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make him change. Very funny. What is that? Oh wait, actually, technically we robbed that boat, so... Well, it wasn't in a city, but it was next to one. Oh shit. What the hell? Oh, fuck. Is that how I think it was? Shit. Well, this is screwed up. Yeah. They 
former O'Driscoll, right? Kieran, I think his name was. Man! I was giving him cover fire, Dutch. Uh, damn crap. Come on, damn Driscoll. Ah, shit, okay. What's happening? Oh, Driscoll, get up there. Save her up there. You tell Mr. Damn it, I was gonna jump off the roof, but I guess I can't. Stay away from the window. Don't you just want me to end it fast? I'm coming down. Let's just dual wield, screw it. Can't get out? Where the hell? Where the hell am I even supposed to go? Yeah, that sucks. I kinda liked him. The game never made it clear where to go. Is it something about take the go to the front door or something? Well what the hell did it mean by that? Was I supposed to keep Bullshit. Women and children inside. Oh, now I get a rifle? Damn what the hell? Crap. Come on, damn Driscoll. Okay, I tried, but I couldn't get down the stairs. Well, I couldn't get to the front door for some reason. For some reason it wouldn't let me get to the door. Arthur Knapp, go on! For frick's sake, Dutch. Is, this isn't the front door, is it? It's the back door. Maybe that's why. This is the front door, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Get inside, fast! Come on, quick! Don't let anyone back through that door. At least I got my rifle, so that's cool. That's a lot of them. Dutch can't claim I ain't doing my fair share. If the rest of you were as good at killing as I was, there wouldn't be any O'Driscolls left. Doing tobacco, come on. Okay, now it says to go back in there. Gotcha. Now everyone I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. Gotcha. Jesus Christ. How do I barricade them? Oh, I guess you just gotta shoot them. Son of a bitch. I said it's everyone accounted for. I don't. I My bad. I don't know what's going on. Like well, geez, Dutch, am I the only one shooting here? You get to think I'm the only one who's actually shooting them. That's Mrs. Adler. She's still out there. Oh Double shit. Me. Okay. Who's this lady here? Dutch always had a fondness for women. Mrs. Adler. Oh shit. Sadie? Sadie! Holy shit, she's taking care of him by herself. Sadie? Why didn't you get inside? I think she. I think she wants to take them all on herself. Now we go back. Ah, damn. We need you in the house, Mrs. Sandler. Oh, no. We all need to be in the house. Jeez, how many of these guys are there? Looks like they got a freaking army out here. Shit. Chewing tobacco, chewing tobacco, come on. They all got their faces covered too. Oh, I don't 
bastards. A lot better when you when it's on T instead of middle mouse button, you know? It just feels so much more smoother. That's all of them, I don't see any more red. Never mind. No shit. You were supposed to be at the house already. Oh, Charles, that's Charles, never mind. Please, come on. So, except for Karen here. Poor Karen. Uh, poor I Karen. liked him. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him? Someplace he may have been a former O'Driscoll, but he was a nice near, guy. Of Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Comb O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. Well, we lost Kieran, but on the plus side, Comb lost a hell of a lot more than that. Makes you wonder. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Fitting because you play as John in the first one. At least that's what I heard. John Marston. You know, I know it's gameplay story segregation, but you would think after these dozens of people that O'Driscoll lost, he would eventually run out of men. I mean, our gang is pretty small. Kieran said that we're basically a lot alike, but... From the looks of things, he just has dozens and dozens of disposable men. Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. It's like he doesn't even care. Yeah, yeah for such real. A gentle soul. I hear you, Mary. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. Mary Beth. Well, I should get back to it. Sure, okay. That is seriously screwed up, though. Time you like wait. this? I'm sleeping, Arthur. You were snoring, that's all. Damn it, Arthur. Let me sleep. Bro. This, this camp just had a shootout. You can sleep at a time like this? Day. You okay? I thought we were safe here. <sighs> never make that mistake. You're never safe. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Sure. This is the Wild West, my friend. Even San Denis isn't safe. There's no place on this freaking earth that is truly safe if you get down to it. We can give ourselves the illusion of safety, but nah. No guarantees. I need you to stay put. 
I need you to stay put, okay? Stay. This way. Come on. You know what? Come on, girl. Guess I better take you next to the other horses. Yeah. Don't get any funny ideas. There you go. Right. We still have that other area to go to. I guess I better take care of it before doing anything else, huh? Eagle flies. Meet his son to steal some documents from Cornwall. Right. Let's see, that's close to Valentine. I'll go to Valentine. Alright, let's take a trip to Valentine then. Because why not? Huh, what do we have here? What we got here, gentlemen? Is there a problem? Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child! I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. Shoot one off mine instead. Yeah, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but I won't even flinch. Okay, I whatever. Hurt you boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. I'm almost tempted okay, to shoot them both in the face if I'm being honest. Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. Oops, finger you slip. Boys are ridiculous. Okay. There, now you can both shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Please. These guys are crazy. Unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. <laughs> These guys are crazy. Don't think too much about it. Yeah. 
I think I may have now grazed his hair. On Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen! Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the uh, Okay. These guys are weird. Shoot away. There you go, babies. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I oh, for the love of God. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue. These guys I would are run idiots. If I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering oh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Oh, you are too much. Too much, too much. Nope, my sweet. You know what Arthur's thinking. I think you both are a bunch, are a couple of dumbasses, and I almost wish I shot you both. <laughs> I bet you that's what he was thinking. Girl. Oh yeah, I think there's actually another bounty that I can hunt in here. I should probably go for it. I think I've been doing plenty of story missions. Let's mess around a bit, huh? You want to catch another center bounty hunter? All right. Let's get the bounty before we go any further. Let's see. Valentine. Known as the Black Widow. We paid for the arrest of Ellie and Swan, wanted for the crime of matricide. The above amount will be paid immediately for the delivery of the prisoner, wanted alive for questioning. She has been seen in the Cumberland Falls area with an unknown male who may be manipulating her. All information or reward claims to be addressed to Sheriff C. Malloy, Valentine Sheriff's Office. All right, fair enough. That one? They say she's sleeping rough. Near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Oh, I got it. I'll take a check Be then. Relentless in your pursuit. Mister. Okay, drink. girl. All right. Let's go for that bounty, huh? That reminds me. I lent those guys some money to finish that house. I wonder how that's gotten along. I expect my money back. Or some other kind of monetary. Some other reward that's worth something. Maybe I ought to check in on that first. I think it's over here? Yeah, probably not. I think it's actually over here. Yeah. I don't remember. It was somewhere not too far from the cliffs. I know that. Yeah, sometimes I don't remember things so well, but I do remember giving people money to finish a house. And I do know that I never got that money back. Or anything of equal worth. So, I want to see what's going on there. Maybe they just didn't yeah. have a chance because I never saw them again. Yeah. Because, I mean, that would make perfect sense. Of course, they're trying to play me for a fool. They don't know who the real fool is. Where are those guys? Man, my horse is getting dirty. You can see she's covered in gray. She's usually a pitch shade of white. Kind of a weird aesthetic change. It almost seems like she shouldn't be dirty, like she just has gray spots, but no. Yep. Where's that house? Look how that turkey was practically running right at me. There. I guess I probably should. Uh, I just wanted to check, you know. Screw it. <laughs> oh, 
Well, let's see. It's just across the river. I find a good spot. Go down the cliff. Nice and smoothly. I should be okay. Yeah, like right here. This'll do. There, girl. You know what? I won't have to brush her. All I gotta do is this. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, that that's the one. The one who needed money to help him with build the house. I hope you ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. Really? <laughs> How's it going, mister? Well, good luck to you. Hmm. That guy seems nice. At least I got the horse clean. Didn't even have to get off and brush her. Ah, I see. They ain't there. Wow. That just seems silly. Unless they knew I was coming and then they took off because they know they can't pay me back. In which case, where's my money? You gonna give me my money? Can't wait to see what kind of crazy adventures this bounty gets us into. He's wanted alive. Well, she must not be too bad. Actually, I'm just gonna check something real quick. There we go. <laughs> I may have saw something in the Twitch chat that I want. Anyway. There. <laughs> I mean, I got over five grand anyway, so I don't really need money. But it's the principle of the thing, you know? Much like with Strauss, you don't borrow from Dutch's gang without giving back. But otherwise... You're making a big mistake. Now. Where's that bounty spot? Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Screw this. I got a better idea. Ah, shit. stay there. Eh. There we go. I was kind of hoping I could save him. Too bad it couldn't be helped. You gotta love scripts, huh? Now, come here. Of them. You know, just for my troubles, I think I'm gonna get some extra off of you. Who's gonna believe you if you tell on me? You think someone who's wanted is gonna be believed? Besides, I doubt they'd care anyway, even if they believed you. Nah, I'm just gonna take what I can off of her. that canned salmon I'm taking whatever I can you killed this your is, last uh, very kind of you don't you man handle me oh shut your mouth you're gonna get a lot worse than that in prison believe it Ah, right. Fair point. All right, if she girl. mouths off, I'll hit her. <laughs> you know? You got a ride ahead of you. Fred. Dead end. Oh, dear. 
What came over me? Really? Did I just do those things? It's a, oh, it's shut a up. Blur. But I see blood. There's blood everywhere. Oh, no, she is such full of shit. I don't like that. I'm a good girl. R really. I promise I am. You believe me, don't you? Nope, don't not for a that? second. Be quiet with that. She's gonna try and bullshit me. She's gonna try to work that charm, you know? Oh, I missed her. I'm, a, I'm such a good girl. I'd never do something like that. I, I just blacked out, that's all. I need help, okay? I, I have an illness. Oh, you're gonna need I help need in a second. Brain. This the help you're looking for? <laughs> yeah, let me smack you back into reality. Hey, she's got brain problems. Let me just give it a kickstart. You're such a strong man. So tough and burly. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. Oh, she th she's underestimating help. Arthur. They all been weak. That's what my problem's been. How I got in this unfortunate situation. She actually thinks she can trick me. But a big, strong man like you, you know. I ain't falling for it. She can shut the hell up. You remember what you said to me about Mary? Don't be an S. Well. I hate you. You sad sack of shit. I wish I'd cut your. That's more like it. Hush. Trust me. There's a long list of people who hate me. Think I give a shit if some some widower hates me, huh? I couldn't care less about you. Your bounty is all I care about. That's the only thing valuable about you. You're damn right it is. She thought she could trick me. She thought she could put on her charms. Not stupid. Neither is Arthur. She's a widower. She was just trying to put on the charm so that I'd let her go. Make me think she's actually nice. Or, heck, just trying to get Arthur's hormones acting up, if you know what I mean. She's a manipulator. Thinks she can fool me. I'm not born yesterday. In fact, I think I'm gonna make it nice and slow for her. Hey, don't you drag me into this. That was a nice scenic route. Bounty hunter coming through. We're coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? This place is just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. Sorry, I'm not in this for fun. It's all business. All right, let's go. You think Arthur Morgan's the having fun kind of guy? You've never met Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Sure, he can have fun, but that's not what he does, primarily. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? Got it, mister. I, I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. Test all you want. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another fella out by the falls. Poor dear. They just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? Yeah. I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. Yeah, it's almost like the guy just backed right into her knife. Poor girl. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. <laughs> well, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. Maybe someone's stupid so enough, huh? This town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. You it's think... silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just little old me. Let me out. To... 
exercise a little. I'm immune to your charms, Mrs. Swan. Babe. It's so boring in here. Can we have some fun, Sheriff? Just the two of us. She's so predictable, isn't she? You were sniffing around this office at one point. I'm lucky you was charmed by another. You see, Sheriff, I know your secrets. And I could spread them all over. Clumsiness ain't a crime. Right. Pay attention. Miss Moria? Don't you dare mention Moria again. Now hush. <laughs> oh. Show me some sympathy, Sheriff. I'm a widow. A poor little widow. You forget? They can say what they like about you, but at least you respected the sanctity of marriage. Till death do us part. <laughs> I don't think they meant till murder do you part. I must have missed that part of it. I need some money. Can't you help the fellow out? Sorry, pal. Gentlemen. I suggest it's all good. Calm down. All right, you want to be a dick? The hell is your problem? Come on. Let's do hey, this. Can't back away now. All right, come down here. Jeez, three against one. You think it's a little unreasonable? All right, you want to do this? Bunch of jackasses. Come on. One on one. Let's do this. You guys still up? Well, not anymore. Here you go, jackass. Hey, they wanted this. Jackass. Yeah, I guess so. Will somebody help me out? Yeah. Well, hey, friend. What is it you want from here? Let's see if I can get my guns cleaned up. Oh, wait. I haven't been using those. Hey, beautiful condition. Keep it up. Ah, right, here we go. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that, as far as I can see. Julio. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Oh, this one, the Springfield rifle ain't looking so good. Yeah, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. Uh, you keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. I guess there are some things that he can't clean. Yeah, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. That's weird. The condition is low, but oh no, wait, that's reload. I'm not even looking at it. My bad. Lancaster. Okay, here we go. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. All Good. right. Ain't no trace of rust on that, as far as I can see. Yeah, I saw the reload, and for some reason, I thought that was the condition. I was like, whoa, it's like that? All right. All right, let's get the hell out of here already. You all right, girl? You done good, girl. I still think that was funny. She kept trying over and over to charm both me and the sheriff. Yeah. We ain't falling for a crap. You think we're one of those lonely schoolboys with hormones that are spiked up that she can actually manipulate like that that's my girl it's the wild west yeah there's a girl good girl now let's see what this is all about Ah, here we go. Hey, pal. You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's a files in the office above the refinery room. There. 
You see that light up there? Yeah. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you were right. quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Ah, uh, here we go. That's fun. <laughs> Let's play sneaky. Bum 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 Yeah, and I was thinking the same thing. Like, oh, if there's something wrong with your head, let me give that a kickstart. Let's whack the problems right out of your head. train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. There's a wild swallow in the Twitch chat if anyone's interested. He's lucky they didn't check in the back. better exit the wagon real fast. No problem. Just gotta keep scares. Man, they're almost making this too easy. Hey, who are you? Oh, shit. Well, now I'm screwed. I'm screwed. thing to lose, especially over such a nice floor as this. It's here! It's here! I need to get the hell out of here. You're done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell 
the guard, you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Guess I gotta go. Well, <laughs> here we go. I guess regardless if I was being stealthy or not, it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> I guess we live for crazy, don't Shit. we? late for this, but... Maybe nobody got a good look at me yet. <laughs> They're coming after us. Nobody alive, anyway. about to say, man. That explosion came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. Ended it right over I without a fuss. thought wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Good point. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Best of luck there, mister. And of course the gang always gets their cut. Not bad, not bad at all. Anyway, I don't have too much time left, but I do have some time left. What if there are any legendary animals that I can get right now that I missed? I'm actually curious about that. Let's see, I X'd out those. I got the beaver. I think there was a legendary fish somewhere. Which is kind of funny. Ah, there's a legendary fish. Might as well go over there, huh? <laughs> Darn it. Well, anyway. Time to go back to camp. At least I don't think I got any bounties, so that's good. That's very good. I'm 
guessing to get the legendary fish, you can't just go guns blazing. Probably gonna have to fish for it. Then again, who knows? Maybe I could just snipe it out of the water. That would be so much more handy, wouldn't it? Let's go dynamite fishing. That's the funny thing about legendary carcasses. No matter how badly you damage them, they're always in perfect condition. Alright, I guess I should probably clean my horse at some point. Come on, girl. I kinda like seeing these actions in third person. Come on, girl. Ah, interesting. Maybe I ought to go for that then. That was me thinking we were a step ahead of the O'Driscolls. I was almost starting to like that, Kieran. And he saved your life. Yeah. Even if they could be a jerk to him, I liked Kieran. He seemed nice. He seemed genuine. He didn't seem like someone who would stab you in the back. So let's see, what do we got here? Oh. The game's... Oh, wait, never mind. I thought that was a slash. Wait, there's a moose up there. What the hell? Look at that. Farther up, uh, more far up than the freaking beaver. There's a freaking moose up there. Like, just to the northeast of the bear. Got my attention. Where'd I find the beaver? There it is. Right, the bear is right there, which means the moose must be over here somewhere. <laughs> nice. Oh, wait. Are there any fast travel points that I can get to? Mm, not that close, unfortunately. Oh, well, there's always just the option of using the cinematic map. Apparently, if you're on the trail, you can just... Use the cinematic map, and then it takes you there automatically. Let's do it. Why not? We just take in the sights. This really is a beautiful game. Honestly, I've yet to see a game that looks better. Ah, if I'm not wrong, it's near Innsburg. Fair enough. All I know is that it's just northeast of the bear, so if I go around there, it should take me relatively close. Now, as I was saying, I don't think I've actually seen a better looking game than this one, especially in terms of the environments. Now, I looked at Starfield. I'm not going to say Starfield looks terrible, but it's Bethesda and... They tend to be known for some level of jankiness, and also, I think more often than not, Bethesda's games are overhyped. Like, Skyrim's good, but was it really the second coming that everyone thought it was going to be? Or at least everyone seemingly built it up to be? I don't think so. Yeah. I think Red Dead looks so much better than Starfield. It's not even close. I looked at screenshot. I looked at video actually of Starfield on maximum settings. I think the environments actually look kind of flat. Maybe that's just me. Like compared to this. Yeah. And seriously, just look at this. This game is actually discounted because it's a few years old. I think it looks so much better than Starfield. What the hell? Nothing about this game looks flat. Ah, uh, that's fair. Yeah, that's a good point, Gary. The Witcher 3 is a really good-looking game, too. Yeah. And The Witcher 3 doesn't look too bad on the Switch, either, all things considered. Yeah, it's obviously a downgrade, but they did the best they could, and it still looks pretty good. But yeah, you got a point there. The Witcher 3 has really good environments, too. But Red Dead 2, I think it sweeps it. If anything, you can argue that Rockstar put in too much detail. Especially the, the horse parts shrieking in the winter. 
That's practically a meme. Barking up the wrong tree if you're asking help from me. I'm here on a hunting mission. You have unopened mail or parcels. You can pick them up at the post office. Wasn't that lovely? Actually, thought it was kind of funny. Yep. For Switch standards, though, Tears of the Kingdom also looks really good. How close I am. Yeah, I'm getting close. Oh, here we go. Ansberg. You did mention Ansberg. All right, here we go. Yeah, should be right on it. <laughs> hey, pal. Hey, partner. Nice to see you. Uh, you oh, you good, you. bro? Well, if you're feeling friendly, come look at this. Really? Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Really? Nature's gift to us all. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? True that. Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best... Keep moving. That's real nice of you. Thanks, pal. Good to know there's some nice people out there. Yeah. Anyway, where is that legendary moose? Hmm. Eh, yeah, Springfield rifle. Near Ansburg somewhere, huh? Yeah, it should be northeast of the bear. Ah, I did not want to jump up. I wanted to go down. So, you know, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Ah, jeez. Yeah, you're gonna be okay. Good thing Horse Reviver isn't that expensive. It doesn't happen that often. See, that is exactly what I didn't want to happen, and what I was trying to avoid happening. 
Sometimes it doesn't work out like that. I thought maybe if I went through that crevice in the center, I'd be good. But now let's check out the side of that legendary animal. What the hell? A wolf? Ah, shit. Ah, shit. There we go. Yeesh. Talk about nuts. Not bad. Poor quality though. Oh wait, it's actually good quality. Never mind. Guess I don't know how to read. Yeah. Anyway. Let's look for that legendary moose. I would have gone for the wolf's carcass, but I'm not going to be able to hold both. Not a legendary animal. Priority. Should be just about where it is. Or at least close. Yeah. I have to imagine. That was smooth. Just steady enough that I can make it up there. Well, I made it to this spot. Now, let's see where that moose actually is. Shouldn't be too far from here. I mentioned I love these graphics because I love these graphics. That's weird. You'd think it would be somewhere around here. Like I said, just northeast of the bear. From what I could tell. Hey. Let's check again. Yeah, just up the river, it looks like. Like, right at the peak of the river. Yeah, I got you. I just noticed that myself. So, somewhere over here... I'll just go over the river and then follow it. That horse looks like a fine traveling companion. Excuse me, partner. This is turning into one of them days. All right, time to quit idling. Just do it. And beware of anything that's going to buck me off my horse. Of which there are a lot of things that will do that. I get the feeling I should have been going the other way. Maybe it's because of the obvious trail leading me towards the other way. Probably a wolf or something. Ain't got no time for it. Oh shit. Here we go. Now, since I had that power outage... Okay, here we go. Holy shit, I just killed two animals. Easy. Not even meaning to. And a goose. 
Interesting. Okay. Yeah, since I had that unfortunate fuse flip situation, I'm going to continue a bit longer. I can at least hunt down that moose. Animal fat is certainly very handy. Ooh, very handy. Gotcha. Examine plan, huh? Oh, okay. Must have mistaken it. I'm still in its territory, aren't I? Should be. Oh. Okay. Moose is up north. Okay. Ooh, it can be eaten to refill your health, health core or crafted into a health cure. Nice. Okay. Where did Moose is at? I got me a legendary to catch. That's weird. I see the swirls, but they're all plants. Huh, a wild mint. Interesting. Sadly, not what I'm looking for. It said I entered its territory. Maybe it was further south than I thought. Huh, look at that train. Hey there, girl. Nice looking train, too. Yeah. Passenger train from the look of it. Where's that legendary animal at? Too many plants. It's confusing me. Hell's that? Was oh, that? A, that's a black bear. Never mind. American black bear. Where the hell is my legendary beast at? Maybe I just strayed too far. Maybe the second that it said I entered legendary territory, I should have started looking around. Uh, I think that's it. I should probably leave and come back. Yeah. Ah, uh, the leggy is near his pick? Okay. Yep. Yep. My bad, then. Alright. Gotcha. It said I entered his territory, so I was kind of confused and thought maybe I went too far back. Because it was further south. That makes sense. That that would definitely make a lot of sense. I don't see any golden swirls though. You know the woods there? I see swirls, but they're all plants. They're all whitish. I don't really see any golden ones. Maybe farther into the forest? I'm on top of its picture. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Go farther into the forest.
Still don't see any golden swirls though. I think maybe I need to leave and go away. What the hell? Buddy? This is weird. This would give me the best view of the forest, but I still don't see anything. Okay, girl. There must be something I'm missing here. See. Go west from the pick. Alrighty then, so just about here then. I guess it would make sense that it would be in a clearing. I thought I saw something gold, but I must be confused. Must be over here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Thanks for the tip. I really appreciate it. I found it. Now we got it. Tree rub. This could take a while. Ah, right, here we go. Still further down. I'm on to you this time. Looks a way off. Hmm. Not much farther now. It's one more clue. That's three. Now that's interesting. Holy shit, that's those are some big antlers. I'm pretty sure that was it. I don't think that was a clean headshot, though. Ah, shit. I think that was just a straight-up miss. That had to hurt. If it isn't dead, it's really feeling the hurt. As expected, it's a tough son of a bitch. Where to go? Trying to lead me off its trail, I think. It's going all over the place. Well, okay, there we go. I 
There we go. There you are. Nowhere to hide now. Jeez. That moose was tough. Took a few headshots to take it down. And with a rifle, no less. Got my respect, legendary moose. You were tough. Oh, crap. Running out of stamina. Oh, Arthur's gonna drown. Arthur Morgan? That moose over here. Shit. What the hell? Can I not get the moose? Stamina, here we go. Did I did I lose my chance? Is it too waterlogged now? Not even an icon on the map anymore. I can't even interact with it. What the hell? Okay, here we go. Sort of, but not really. Ah, oh, jeez. It's had to go into the water, didn't it? Just kind of messed up. health cure anything for just stamina nope uh, apparently not original candies cool doesn't want to budge this bull crap How do you get to shore? The lasso isn't working. This doesn't seem to be working. It's actually starting to piss me off now. I can't? What? What? It's just over? You can't? The moose is just gone now? Even though it's literally right there? The moose? I'm pretty sure the moose died of a headshot. Pretty sure the moose didn't drown. I think you mean it's submerged. Bullshit, though. Oh, for the love of God. I'm not going to leave my kill on a freaking technicality. That's some old bull crap right there. Let's go, girl. Or maybe just despawn the moose completely. Man, that's some serious bullshit. I know, I didn't need money that badly, but still. Something as simple as that. Wait a minute. The icon appeared. Can I drag it ashore now? Maybe it unglitched it. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> that would have been ridiculous, you know? Yeah, I got it. I got it. It's it's fine now. Yeah, I got it now. Thank God, huh? I swear to God, if it had screwed me out of this legendary pelt, I would have been so mad. 
Okay, the rest of you can just go out to sea. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Now, as I wrap up the stream, I'm going to head to San Denis, get myself the trapper over there, so that I can proceed to sell oh, it off. Am I glad I found you? Ah, I'm colder crap. than Blue Belly Hell out here. Could I warm up by your fire? Just Fine. Eat? Hurry it up. All right. I guess you can sit a while. Oh, I sure do appreciate this. You, 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 you won't even know I'm here. Let's hurry up. Oh, I got myself rightly turned around out here. Yeah, the two days or or more. <laughs> Oh, Jerry Ann guzzled up all the chitterlings, so I go out hunting squirrels. Only Esther still got my damn warm britches. And I got poor circulation, even at the best of times. So, oh, November, my feet, they always turn brown. So I glug like some shine to keep myself warm. <laughs> On a riverbank, shivering like a shitting dog. <laughs> I get lost real easy. You ever heard of a place called Butcher Creek, Mister? I don't think Our so. Entire village has been marked by the demon. Oh, uh, okay. Stealing our bodies and I think she's a little lives. unhinged. And we have all been cursed, and ain't nothing we can do but just wait our yeah, time. Yeah, she's a little unhinged. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Now, I don't know if I like you, mister. You got the same look my uncle has. Well, see ya. I'll take my chances. You stay away from me. He's crazy. Okay, sand -E time. That was an exciting diversion, wasn't it? Okay, here we go. Gotcha. Fair enough. Anyway, my next live stream will be Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Thursday, 4.30 p.m. And then more Red Dead Redemption 2 is Monday, 4.30 p.m. Yeah. At least I didn't have to fight her or anything like that. That would have been awkward to do at the end of it. You know, all's well that ends well. Let's see who I can raid on Twitch. I'm guessing not you. All right. He usually... You can usually raid her for... Interestingly enough. So... I'm gonna switch over to this gonna close this up right okay if I can raid who I'm thinking of raiding okay I can we're gonna be raiding Henya because hers is open for it so that's gonna have to be it for now thank you so much for tuning in with me make sure to spread this video around like Crazies in the Wild West, and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. All right, all Eastern Standard Time. You can always subscribe and follow. You know the drill by now. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day.